thank goodness for the internet. Thank goodness for the internet because we find um, photographers that we really wouldn't otherwise. And I, I really don't remember um, how I discovered her, but I did. And at that, she has three books, um, Before Winter and a uh, second edition, The Disarray, a second edition. And, and I was able to pre-order the third book, Escape, in a first edition, which is kind of a, we were chatting about that a minute ago. First editions are kind of um, a big deal for me. I was excited about that. Um, but I just learned that there aren't first editions, single first editions available any, anymore for that. The second would be coming up and um, they're beautiful, beautiful books. And we'll talk a little bit about the production in a bit. Um, uh, Olga's most recent show was in London at the Croatian embassy. And she is coming to us uh, right now from Croatia. I think Zagreb, is that right, Olga? Yes, yes, yes. Yeah. Uh, um, I'm currently in Zagreb in Croatia. Yeah. And the okay, time so there I, is? is uh, I'm a night bird, so for me, it's all good. It's 1, p 1 a.m. here. Yes. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So when, when, when Olga first said, sure, I'll do that, what time? And when, once we got the, the time straight, I'm like, so what do you think about 1 a.m. <laughs> so I feel um, I'm just delighted that she's here. And um, I, I just want to read something from the introduction uh, to um, Olga's third book, The Escape. Um, and and uh, it says, escape is an exploration and a celebration of everything the camera isn't supposed to be able to do, giving us a glimpse of a world we would not otherwise be able to see. And, and it is a fascinating world um, for sure. And so tonight we'll talk, I'm gonna turn it over to Olga here to um, let her do a little more introduction to her work. We'll, first segment of tonight, we'll talk a bit about um, the imagery and the emotional content and how Olga came to do this work. And then we'll talk more technically about how she accomplishes the work. And finally, talk a little bit about um, book production um, and, and how that went and how she controls that work. So um, it'll be a presentation and um, I'll kind of facilitate some conversation. And if you have any questions, do um, feel free to put them in the chat and we'll monitor that. So welcome, um, Olga, and I'm gonna Hi. turn it over to you. Hi, hi, first of all, thank you for having me and uh, just for start, uh, we, as you already chatted and uh, kind of uh, uh, have an idea how, how we are going to, to work uh, with this. Uh, so first few words, I'm a photographer from Croatia, although I, I exhibit mostly in London and other places in the world. I'm a book lover and uh, I make uh, photography books uh, I did a trilogy of them. It took me five years to make them. And uh, it's about more than 500 photographs inside. Um, uh, they are done digitally. Uh, they are done uh, in Zagreb and Dubrovnik, the shots in Croatia, apart from one shot, which has been done in London. Uh, so they are produced, uh, books, all books are produced as well here. And uh, um, for, for start, I can say that, uh, you know, I use Rico Hey Jart as the camera that uh, I use for making those shots. Um, I, they're all black and white. Uh, many always ask about my style and the emotional impact that those works have. And I would say I do them very intuitively I don't plan much. Uh, it's uh, all uh, an inner need simply to, to, to do it, just to go out, shoot uh, emotion uh, using slower shutter speed, uh, a lot of intuition and uh, just uh, uh, simply having a need to, 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 to connect with everything around me in that way. Uh, I developed uh, the, the style, I will almost say by accident, it's just the way 
I, I started shooting more and more. And it, at the end, it became a way that comes naturally to me. I just, when people ask me how I make them, I make them, that's the way I make them. Uh, many then ask uh, what's done within the camera and how it's done and what's done later in post-production. So uh, I, I do it within the camera. Uh, later, I only crop them and I only contrast them. For me personally, it's very important. I, I don't mind. Uh, I, I like giving people the freedom to do whatever they like, how they want to make their shots. Do they want them, you know, in camera later, whatever. But for me, it's, uh, I want them to stay. Uh, I don't want to delete anything from them or add anything. So I just like to preserve the moment because I remember it that way. With me, it's like a lot of it, it's, connected to the memory and something that after I've done it, it stays with me in a way and tells stories. It remem I remember the moment. I remember usually, uh, I do a lot of them while in a tram, for example, while the tram is moving from behind rainy, blurry windows. That's why I, how I get those shapes uh, some I do in, in reflections, uh, many in motion while I walk. Uh, usually I get inspired by lousy weather, you know, when it's rainy, when it's snowy, or uh, during the night. Uh, there are some that have been done during the, the, the sunshine, but most are, you know, I love those rainy, uh, muddy, dirty nights when you just, usually the type of weather that everyone hates. <laughs> uh, so uh, it's, uh, it's been, I think it's closely related to the mood and you get affected by the surrounding. Also, for example, for me, rain and wetness gives a lot of opportunities for shooting because it reflects from the, 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 the bottom, it reflects, it gives completely different way you see the light. Uh, so I would always encourage people to try all those, you know, uh, usually uh, to, to, to try uh, to shoot more when it's, usually people don't like nights because then you have to adjust so many things and the, 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 it's difficult or something, but the, the more difficult, the better, the night, the, the, the rain, the, the, the light, and just playing with lights and shades. And, and, and it's a lot also, I think, about the freedom. You just go and do it. You, I don't think much when I shoot. Uh, I, just, uh, I just let myself uh, feel and experience uh, a certain period of time while I walk, while I drive in a car, or while I drive in a tram, and see what happens. Olga, uh, could I ask you, in the, the um, Frames Magazine review, um, the author of that review didn't know how you um, made your images, when he acknowledged that, and he said, um, something like, you know, but clearly, and he was right about this, um, she seems to enjoy um, like the bad weather and the rain and the night. And you would think that um, the, the images were an exploration of like uh, darkness and depression and oppression or something like that. I don't, I don't remember. That isn't, um, that's not the emotion that he said, but I was wrong about that. That's not what it is. So um, for you, it, it's intuitive work. Are you thinking about an emotion as you capture um, or, or do you just capture? I just capture. And okay. it's, uh, uh, it's just, uh, I think uh, when I look back it, and when I look, for example, the whole book, it does represent and you get uh, 
an emotion and the feeling and all all those images as many people say are filled with emotion that's the first that you get but i don't do it intentionally it, it just happens and uh, it's uh, it's uh, it's the mood and the the, the definitely uh, something that uh, uh, is very intuitive very not, not mm -hmm. in planned mm -hmm. it's not as if i'm like feeling uh, a certain way and then i go to to shoot it's just it happens sure sure so are you um uh uh, what is your training as a photographer? Um, how did you come to the field? Is it I, I am completely self-taught. I have no uh, art. Okay. I did. I never attended any anything. Uh, I, 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 for me, it, it was also a shock when I discovered that I'm kind of good in doing it uh, mm -hmm. because I'm an economist uh, by profession, and uh, oh, wow. I had. I had no any touch really until my 30s with 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 I did as a child and I loved mm -hmm. shooting but not in a, I mean not in this way and not in in the art art way uh, and uh, I have absolutely no background in any or I, I never did even a course uh, so it just came naturally to me wow yeah, it's a bit strange, but uh, that's how it happened. Oh. Well, it's um, some might say the most honest work, right? I, I would say that. I mean, I always also encourage people simply to, you know, be free and express themselves and uh, just mm -hmm. uh, doesn't even matter how it's going to look. Who cares if you do to help yourself in a way? And I came to the field and not because I wanted to achieve something. I just wanted to help myself. It was uh, even a little bit of a self-help there. Like, uh, mm -hmm. you know, uh, I've been going through many things and I, I, I tried to find ways to express and to feel better. And a friend of mine suggested, you know, you maybe you should, you know, you always liked uh, when you were a kid, you liked uh, having cameras you know maybe you should go back to it after like 20 years and just mm -hmm. start and uh, so i always encourage a lot of people to just enjoy it in a way and help themselves right right so uh, a little while ago um while we were um waiting for people to come into the room um we talked a bit about or you and david talked a bit about um your uh, your camera, your equipment, and I, I'm going to, I'm going to guess based on what you, I'm going to keep it to myself though, um, based on what David asked you and what you said about the image you, that you showed, um, what kind of importance do you place on particular equipment? That's a very, uh, uh, I mean, I, I am attached to the camera that I now work with, that I take my shots and it's the same one now for five years uh, but uh, as i show to david i ha have a, like an analog image that is quite the same as those digital mm -hmm. ones so uh, which is done with holga uh, the, the the toy analog camera so i i, I would say that uh, for me it's important because i kind of i'm used to it and uh, i i have confidence that uh, this camera is now uh, something that uh, can uh, help me do things that I, I want. But I think if I, I, I wouldn't mind trying with something else. I don't think it's, it, it, it's the camera that makes the shot. It's the right. person, uh, right. person behind. Uh, uh, and uh, otherwise, uh, you know, uh, I think there is a lot of identity and authenticity with art and uh, it's not about it's it's when you see a certain photography you should be able to recognize it who did it mm -hmm. without knowing who did it because it's it has the the signature within uh, so i i would right. say uh, that's something that uh, i would also always encourage uh, 
people to to try to be themselves and to try to do things their own way of course you you have to learn how to use the camera you have to learn certain things some basic things but uh, i think it's uh, it's it's a lot of, uh, about uh, doing it your own way yeah so writers talk about um the voice in a, a piece of writing it's it's the same thing in photography that whether we call it the voice or the vision it's but it's individual Yes, I mean when 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 I look at the, the photographs of many uh, pho pho photographers that I love, uh, you 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 I don't have to know. I know already without uh, uh, someone telling me who did those shots. I know it's theirs. So mm -hmm. it's the same as you say with writing. When you write, uh, when you read a novel of a writer that you love, you 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 know who simply without. So that's. Uh, I think it's very important. It's something that makes art, actually. For sure. Yeah, Carol, Carol, Olga, the one thing I brought up was the very creative use of the grain she's using. And I'm curious, because it isn't necessarily the camera, but also the post-processing. Mm -hmm. So it'd be nice to delve into that maybe just a little bit, because she's very creative with that. Yeah. The so, use of the grain and, and mm -hmm. um, it adds uh, to the abstraction. Okay, as you do that, is it possible for you to pull up some images yes. as you talk through those? Yes. Perfect. Uh, now I have to remind myself on uh, share screen. Yes. Yeah, just yell, rags can. Oh, she's got it. Yeah, she's okay, got good. that. Um, and for everyone who's looking, if you if you are still seeing a gallery view, you can look at the little waffle up in the corner and um, uh, change that to spotlight so you can see the images in a larger format. Uh, uh, is it possible yeah, side to... By side kind of uh, have them in a, in a, uh, we're seeing oh. them now. I'm seeing them. which one you, you you see at the moment the um, woman with the shadow yeah uh, 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 no I'm a bit just okay uh, her um, okay. her okay. hair yes. is back yes mm -hmm. yes uh, well, uh, first to answer the question of David, uh, uh, with with grain, it comes from a different uh, uh, sources, I would say. In, uh, uh, first, and that's a lot of my night images are more grainy even than the yeah. day ones. It comes from ISO, which is high. Uh, so it in within the within the camera it gets uh, maybe two thousand or something like that. So it it gives the grain. Another source is uh, okay. I crop the image sometimes and then it it gets uh, a little bit more uh, grainy. But that's more or less it. Nothing more. Okay. Those two sources give me the grain. High ISO and uh, crop. But mostly it's. Uh, uh, also, uh, what enhances the whole story is the contrast. And then, when you have a, such a high contrast, it actually uh, it makes this grain even more visible. Uh, so, with with this image that I'm 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 sharing, that's one of the rare sun ones. <laughs> um, but for example, this one has been taken in motion. Uh, it's in my neighborhood, and uh, obviously the light was uh, from, you know, the lady was running, and uh, I was walking, and my, my camera was down a little bit below, uh, uh, not in my eye uh, range. Mm -hmm. And uh, so I can share, uh, for example, uh, another one. If you have any questions, you just, this is like... Uh, new mm -hmm. share uh, i'm just trying to learn to do this more quickly um oh, it's all good uh okay so I, I have to open it actually 
to share it. Yeah. That's I can't do it in a sequence. I don't think so now. Uh, so I will I will open. Okay, so for example, this one. Uh, this one. Uh, this is done in Dubrovnik Old Town, and it's the same. This is very. This is done just by walking, and I uh, and just capturing the moment. This, this the, the lady just was also running. People, a lot of people, and it's been done with slower shutter, uh, hand movement, uh, and in post production, I I just straightened it a bit and cropped it a little bit and add a little bit of a contrast, but. The, the shapes and all of that came from that moment and the motion, basically. Uh, so uh, if you have any questions, just ask. Uh, so, Olga, when you are walking along capturing images, are you, are you holding the camera, say, um, at your waist? Are you uh, bringing it up yes. to look? It, it varies. Mm -hmm. Sometimes it, it really, uh, for example, now uh, this image now that I'm going to share, uh, that's been, uh, it will answer a lot. This has been done from behind tram window uh, and all the, and I was holding my camera on my eyesight. So I was, uh, that's behind blurry rainy window. And I was standing at the back of the tram and the, that window gave the shapes and the, the it's uh, every, every all those muddiness and and rain and the uh, drops and it's been done with uh, also uh, slower shutter and 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 a bit of movement and uh, for the previous shot as you said uh, i i did have my camera some probably waist size. Uh, I, I I change that sometimes. Mm -hmm. I, I I it it's all very uh, flexible with me. So mm -hmm. it can be that I sometimes uh, while I walk I don't I, I I have it somewhere more not as as high. Sometimes I have it even higher. Like uh, if I want to to. Uh, uh, get some perspective and mo most of the times I have it in front of my eyes <laughs> so I see mm -hmm. what I do uh, especially when I shoot uh, uh, from behind for example this last image uh, then I, I obviously uh, want to see what what if I can see what, what I'm shooting at uh, so mostly it's like that uh, so yeah, I have, I have another question about thinking about the previous image and how um, uh, like the, the tops and the bottoms of people were almost pointy like, mm -hmm. like the edges were very sharp and, and the uh, edges of everything in this image are very soft. So do you, uh, um, what, what, do you know ahead of time? Do you choose that? effect intentionally do you know the kind of camera movement you would know, bring would a shutter? certain well yeah. I, I i i i these days i mean when i started and <laughs> i i didn't know uh i mean now i can imagine what i can i i i can get the approximate idea of yeah. what, how, what 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 can be done and what can happen but also i get surprised many times Although I use similar settings and I don't, uh, it's all uh, mostly, you know, it's like, I don't know, in between for, for, for those type of shots that you said, uh, that you, you pointed out, it would be maybe 10th of a second. Oh. Something like that, maybe a little bit less or more, but that's within the range maybe. and. Uh, uh, the 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 I would say that what gives the 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 shapes is is simply the the combination of 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 
you know, of, of just the, it's the movement that gets the, the whole image. Uh, mm -hmm. uh, uh, kind of, it just happens. It's very, it's very hard to say, you know, it's tenth of a second. It uh, you you move your hand while you walk. Uh, uh, it's it, for me. It's like capturing a moment. You 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 see something. You walk. You, you get something, and uh, you get the approximate idea of how it can look. You do get a little bit surprised, and after you 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 work a little bit with that image to to just because you know this, this, sometimes they are not straight so you have to just straight, straighten the photo or just add a little bit of a contrast and crop it and mm -hmm. just that that's what makes them then complete mm -hmm. yeah uh, david um noted in the chat the you know the isolated single figure is so striking and the the arc um the arc along the left hand side makes it so strong And so I don't know if I'm sharing now an image. Yes, we still see the single, the single um, figure. Yes. With, oh, uh, I, I, okay. Now I'm sharing a, a stop share. Yep. Uh, so I uh, this you you uh, wait. I will I will uh, now share then. Um, uh, okay. Uh, I will uh, go to screen share and maybe share this one. Have you seen this one? Mm -hmm. No, we have not. So this is also uh, this is this has been done from the back of the tram, ah. and uh, you see the 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 basically silhouettes of people and the 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 same i mean it, the the muddiness the dirt that's been done because the the the, the glass was uh, the window was uh, dirty and rainy and blurry and uh, the tram was uh, uh, driving so it, it there is a lot of motion and the similar settings so that's basically uh, then i can share more um, Olga, Alicia wonders how mm -hmm. many um, images you capture to get one like this that you mm -hmm. like. What's uh, your hit rate? <laughs> it, it varies. Uh, sometimes I go out and shoot, make maybe, uh, I don't know, make 50 shots. And from those 50, I have five, six of the disquality. Mm. Sometimes I go out and do nothing. I, I just, or I get one or two, but generally I don't shoot much. Uh, I don't, I, I, it drains me, it helps me, but it drains me. So mm -hmm. I, I'm not someone who like shoots every day or every second day. Um, I, it's, uh, it's the feeling that kind of, I have to feel a need to do it. I can't push myself. I can't say now, you know, I have to do it or now it's the time. It's like when it, 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 it's related. And then I also really, I feel the difference. If I try to push myself, it doesn't work well. If, I, if, if, sure. if there's a pressure that you have to do it or that you have to make nice ones or good ones. And as long as there is a pressure, it really doesn't help at all. Uh, the, what works best is just uh, uh, when you feel like it, go out, do it, see what happens. And then I get the best uh, result. Sure. Uh, and that rate would be something like that. Sometimes it's of, of 10 images that I make. They, people usually say that I'm quite picky and that, that I throw away many good ones when they see. <laughs> <laughs> but they're yours, right? You're the one who has to love them to claim them. Yes, yes, yes. Well, another... I, I, yeah. I'm sorry, I didn't mean to interrupt. No, no, Go just, ahead. No, no, I just, just that, that's just what I wanted to, to say. Yeah. Um, someone um, else is wondering, there are three portraits 
um, from your escape series that are amazing. Can you talk about those? Yes, yeah, sure. It's a completely different story. Uh, uh, I, first, thank you. And uh, it's a, those are self-portraits that are part of uh, escape. Uh, oh. uh, they are done uh, in a mirror uh, with uh, with uh, drops of water and light on the mirror, and that's how I got the light and those drops and those lines. Mm. And they are done with that way within the camera. I, later, I I just crop them and uh, contrast a bit, but those. Uh, uh, traces of light and uh, drops of light and ray and water uh, help helped to achieve. Uh, and of course, they are done with the longer exposure, uh, much longer than uh, the one and and the hand movement. That's how uh, I got the the the, the, the package. Okay, it, and the the one I, the only way I if I'm thinking of the same image, it's kind of a like it almost looks like a smear across the image. It mm -hmm. is well, that I the, can okay. Show you. Uh, yeah. I can I can try to to uh, 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 I have uh, one is the cover of uh, my escape book. That's one. And this is one that many people also ask. And uh, uh, how now I will, that's from Escape. Um, yes. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, that, that one, uh, that, that's exactly what I was saying. Uh, so uh, it's been done. In the mirror, uh, the the all, all those uh, light uh, lines and the, that playful thing on the top that's from the water uh, drops, and the, the it's a longer exposure. So I was moving both my hand and my head. So it's all the package. Uh, mm -hmm. That's how I I achieved. The, uh the, the the whole image and uh, where is the light source uh, up up it's okay. uh uh it's the light that is uh small uh, uh it's it's uh it's above the yeah. the mirror just above mm -hmm. the mirror and that that gives the 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 the, the actually that's it's all about the light Mm -hmm. And it's otherwise, not. the room was dark. Well, I don't even remember if some other light was, but it wasn't important. Uh, yeah. Maybe there. I, let me think. I don't think it. I think that was the only light. But it. It. it, it there. There has been a lot of light. The image actually looks quite dark. Uh, but uh, uh, it was. Uh, it was. It was the light that affected the photo. So that's yeah. the main light, the the the, the light yeah. that really gives the the it's yes. Very good. I can uh, uh, share another, for example. I think there are four or five of self portraits in Escape, and this is also one. Um. Uh, that I mean, it's the same. It looks different, but uh, all 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 the shapes are from the light. And uh, can you share. Mm, yeah, this is the one I was thinking of. Yeah, so uh, it's done the same way. It varies in the way I move. It's the same mirror, the same light. Uh, all my all those portraits from escape have been done at the same place so uh, it's the same setting and uh, 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 they vary because of the different uh, exposure different movement and that's about it the setting is the same so the environment and mm -hmm. 
Amazing, amazing. Um, so does anyone at this moment have any questions about the work, uh, the emotional content, or um, the, the process, the technical process? Okay. I, I, I'm going to put yeah. in, Carol. So I have Please? a question. These portraits are captivating to me. Um, and I know she's got some other pieces I saw that almost look like Andre Bressant type work, um, you know, with the lady crossing the, the road in a, you know, in, in the rain kind of thing. Um, so was she, in, Olga, were you inspired by like the classics with some of your portrait work here? Because it really is amazing. If, if you go out to her website, you get like, it's like, wow. So right. I'm well, curious you. about this. Uh, so. Yeah, I want to hear more. Well, I, I, I mean, uh, the, I, for, for me, inspiration comes from within somewhere and this need and urge to, to do it. Uh, uh, it's, it's, I mean, I, I like reading. I like, uh, for example, an American author, Paul Oster. I read him, well, I, I read his books a lot and uh, that, that was uh, a little bit of a inspiration as well. So I get it from from reading. I get it from, but mostly um, I, I I don't uh, get inspired by 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 mm, it it comes mostly from from a need to express and need to do it and just that's why I don't even shoot much or do it often. It's just uh, it's how it happens. And I I and I would say also reading because reading kind of helps my imagination and the mood. Yeah, my question would be with the escape series, did you start with that then with that theme and then you built this or had you started to already do some work and then decided this would be the theme? Yes, it's a good one uh, because I, uh, when, I started, it's, it's, when I started shooting for the first book, uh, I deliberately starting, I said, you know, I'm going to make a book and it's going to be before winter title. And then I shot, a, I was shooting quite a lot. Then when the second came with this ray, sometime along the way, I struggled with that one to finish. And then I got an idea of the trilogy. I'll make a third one because I started having a lot of shots that didn't belong to the disarray. And I, I started getting ideas of a, of, of a continuation. Mm -hmm. And uh, uh, so uh, with Escape, uh, there are shots that are deliberately done for, of course, for, for the last part, but also some that I've been capturing along the way and didn't fit. And then the whole package was complete when I finished the last one. So one thing led to another. Yes, exactly. Yeah. Absolutely. That was the, the kind of the path that you take. And as you go along the way, things evolve. Great. We have some members in the, like Marilyn isn't here, that have now moved out into the realm of working more from a theme and that's where I see, you know, especially the escape, <clears throat> you know, sticking to a nice strong theme, an idea. I, I, I think it's important. I think it's it kind of, uh, for me, uh, there is one thing is uh, making shots. Another thing is uh, doing a theme and doing it for a project. And right. then another step higher is doing a book. I do a little bit of writing, I do, put it all together, it tells a story, it has chapters, and then it elevates to even another level where it becomes the, a piece of art itself as a book. Right. And when you kind of go, go through it, you, you, you don't even think of a photography anymore. You think of, of a body of artistic work that is like one big artistic piece. So that's, oh. that's how I uh, kind of, build it step by step thank you fascinating yes because i i have worked on 
the hardest thing is to move into that working from a theme, you know, a project, picking a project and then really being able to, you know, work through it. I think so. I think it's, it's very difficult because it requires uh, a dedication in, within yourself, your mind, your idea. And uh, it requires time, which uh, these days uh, we usually get uh, distracted. Yeah. And uh, I think it's, it's challenging, but I think you get rewarded when one, once it's done and you slowly build it. Uh, I, I think it's worth it. Yeah, that's where I've seen some people finally develop their style, like you talked about earlier, developing your look. Yeah, I mean, for 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 me, it's it, that's 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 very important, and I think it's something that everyone should uh, kind of let let themselves develop it. Just just be who you are, and then build from the, the single shot until you have basically the book in my case, which is also authentic. Yes. Olga, I have you, um, words that you've used that, that strike me um, is that your work is intuitive, um, that you have an inner need and um, you just kind of uh, move through it and capture images. Have you discovered anything about yourself? So your work initially was intuitive and as you look at it and reflect on it, have you learned something about yourself? Oh, well, it's a good question uh, actually, and uh, I've never had it uh, before, but I think uh, I, think I have. I think I think looking back, especially now when it's all uh, put in 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 the whole uh, the, the the trilogy kind of project, it, first of all, it it uh, it it uh, helps you look at yourself from a perspective that maybe you are not aware at the moment when you do it, mm -hmm. and it does give you. Uh, uh, it does show you how it brings back time for sure and uh, uh, gives you uh, gives you more perspectives to yourself i would say you and yeah. you 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 see yourself better once everything is done mm -hmm. it does help i think does, I, um, I want to take some time to ask Olga about um, kind of the book production process. Um, but before we do that, does anybody else have any questions about the work or the photographic process? That's been pretty good. Okay. Uh, so, um, Olga, the, I, I, I'm sure that... Um, group will have an opportunity to see the books that I have sometime when we, you know, have an, um, a club activity. They're beautiful, beautiful books. Could you talk about um, the, the um, publication process? Yes, uh, we already touched it when, when I spoke to David uh, mm -hmm. about, and I think we touched the most important part and that is the dedication to simply uh, stay within the process and shoot for it. And that's the, 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 the most, the, the beautiful part. Uh, then, uh, of course, you, you, uh, you, you have an idea and uh, uh, I put my, my, I have chapters in my book. I, I also have short pieces of writing that uh, relate to each mm -hmm. chapter. Uh, that uh, give uh, another uh, perspective and dimension and kind of saying also, you know, uh, I want you to look book as a piece of art itself. Mm -hmm. And uh, uh, not only, even though photography is, it looks good, but it's about, uh, as you say, emotion that basically you get while you 
read the book, I would even say, even though it's photography, it's when you go through the book and when you close it, it's uh, how it makes you feel and what you get from it. And that's the most important thing. And uh, along the way, of course, production, uh, I had no idea when I started. Uh, so I had to learn everything. <laughs> uh, I, I did uh, uh, one small experimental book first before this, the trilogy to learn. And uh, I, uh, it took me time to find the, the team of people uh, to help me do it. Uh, for example, I have a great graphic editor that prepares my shots for duotone printing because we printed the, the books offset in duotone. Uh, then I have a, a guy on the machine in the printing company that uh, goes with me through the, the computer when, when we print. Uh, it's uh, then there is you know the stitching the the putting it together the cover the choice of paper which is uh, important the the mat luck we put now uh, uh, I I I mean I I learned it from the start and uh, uh, I think uh, it's very important to give yourself time uh, books. Mm -hmm. Uh, require time so you need uh, uh, you need uh, to to go through and check every every step uh, uh, and uh, i have those three four people that are part of the production mm -hmm. did you have a lot of options when you were thinking about um uh publishing the book a lot of publishing houses, a lot of, did you have a lot of options? No, uh, no uh, when, uh, I was like, nobody knew about me. So I, <laughs> nobody cared. I had to do it by <laughs> myself. <laughs> now, I, now I can get a publisher, but I don't want anymore uh, because, I, I, because my books became authentic and because I do it the way I want to do them. Uh, so, uh, but at the beginning, it was out of need, <laughs> you know, it was not, right. you know, I, 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 I had to learn and I was uh, stubborn to, to do it. I wanted to make a book. <laughs> stubborn maybe, but also brilliant. Well, thank, also thank brilliant. Um, when, Olga, when I look at your images, um, you know, I think of um, uh, the beauty of imperfection yes. and impermanence. And I think of, you know, something that influences me, um, an idea is, you know, wabi-sabi, the Japanese idea of wabi-sabi. Mm -hmm. Is that something, um, as you developed your style, were you, you, were you just uncovering it through your intuitive shooting or um, otherwise are you influenced by those philosophical ideas? Uh, well, uh, I think you brilliantly said that, 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 that it's uh, how you said per perfection and imperfection. Uh, yeah. Uh, and it's, 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 so, it's, it's about being human and it is about polarity, uh, about darkness and light, and it is about uh, contrast. And, but it is, I think, deeply about being uh, per perfection of being do and seeing things the way they are and also I think it's about uh, our need as I always come back to to be our ourselves and, and different and uh, that it it's about encouraging difference as well I would say because it's uh, and and imperfections and 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 th those type of things I maybe I was influenced by by subconsciously by by those ideas mm. and just uh, uh, having a need to to express in that way because as 
it is usually something that is suppressed and something that should be encouraged more, I think. Mm -hmm. uh, and it is human at the end. Beautiful. So that's... Yeah, yeah I'm still not muted. Can you walk through a few more of the images? Yes, yes, sure. Please. Um, you just comment how why what you feel is uh, stands uh, out to you for that image. What you uh, feel. So this is a part of uh, escape and a lot of in escape, I think is the, the, the book that has the, the, it's not dark, but it's like the darkest, it's a lot of black and a lot of night in the book. And uh, so this, this shot is in, in my neighborhood. I took it while I was driving the car. I should not have done it. I mean, it's not proper way, but. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I do it a lot, but I should, you know, it's uh, it, nobody was there and it was night and uh, I drove slowly. And, uh, but, uh, you know, what, what comes to my mind and how I felt it, it is the, 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 the night, the emptiness, the, 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 the bit of a spookiness and the, uh, uh, I, I saw a person and just, just, I did, I remember doing three or four shots and this was the best one. So my rate would be 25% uh, 20 from for this shot. <laughs> mm -hmm. And uh, it's maybe one tenth of a second and behind the uh, behind window, but it wasn't even, it wasn't raining, but it's from behind the, the front window. It's in motion. And I'm, I'm kind of, what I love about this shot is the, the tree on the left up, the, the, how, how it looks, that's my favorite. <laughs> so uh, uh, then I, I have one, for example, um, new share. Uh, okay, so I have to uh, open this. Uh, uh, I think this is also from, I mean, I know this is also from Escape and it's uh, from, uh, from a tram. And it was a very rainy and hectic day. So people were running around. Uh, it's from behind the window. And uh, people usually spot uh, white umbrellas and ask, you know, they are all, they are all white. And uh, 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 I spot legs. And for me, like here, uh, legs are maybe interesting. <laughs> And the sense of motion and the way the 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 just you you each time sometimes you know each time you as 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 you said each time you look back at your images you spot something different, and you spot something new, and uh, that's something that is also for me uh, in, interesting thing. Uh, now I will share one from the snowstorm. Uh, so this was this is the the the, the snowstorm in my neighborhood and uh, it, it, to me this one has uh, I love it because. Uh, even though at the moment it was just I spotted the situation, I've done a few shots 
and this is the best and uh, uh, it, it's about uh, uh, story of two people running away and uh, those black holes uh, which are a part of uh, a warmer road that, that didn't capture the snow mm -hmm. so it all kind of accidentally uh, went into right piece and place <laughs> for this show to make it like a perfect story <laughs> right. uh, uh, and and for me uh, it, it's it's done in that you just regularly shooting and walking and shooting uh, mm -hmm. nothing that it, this is from uh, you know it's been snow evening so the, the the it's longer exposure and motion so that, that's how I got the these drops of uh, snow these lines white lines mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. this is something the scene that we can relate to we live in a uh, the northern U.S. in a, a snowy part of the country and you know, early in the year when there are warm parts of the road, and those those are all things that we relate to here. Yeah, I mean, I, I really like snow. I mean, I want actually, uh, I, I would love to have more snow here. Uh, rarely snows in Zagreb lately. The, the climate oh. has changed, and uh, uh, I, I would love to to shoot more in in these conditions. Carol. Yes. Can I can I ask a question? Oh, please or, jump in, um, Rochelle. Um, no, I just uh, I find them very intriguing just because they're sort of like very familiar and sort of everyday things. But then in the same respect, you can bring your own nostalgia and your own history and your own you know story to them um, because they're so familiar because it's so every you know what I mean. And yeah, I, I agree. I, I agree because it, and it is in many ways the the the, the way it, it should be because mm -hmm. you it, everybody uh, can relate in its own way and at the same time they are very universal uh but telling different so many different stories for for each of us yeah and yeah uh, uh, yeah, yeah i i that, i mean that's a compliment uh, for 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 me of course uh, making them yeah, I was going to make Go a comment that Rochelle, I think, would is really eating this up. Yes. When I think yes. of her work. Yeah, I love it. Well, thank you. Uh, it's, a, it's a, of course, it, it's a compliment, and it is. A, it's 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 a, it's at the end, you know, you you get, uh, and it is in my experience when when exhibiting or when people look at my books, it's a, it it always becomes very emotional. Uh, and everybody sees them uh, in in a different way, but then at the end we all connect, uh, even though we 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 have our own way of uh, connecting to to my images. Yeah, and, uh, in the end, we're, you have that human connection. I think so. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, something you got, some of the, uh, uh, your mass transit really adds to here, everyone's in cars, very few buses, unless you're in the big city. And that's one thing where I see a, you find a lot of opportunity is in these people moving about and especially like coming in and out of places. Uh, of course, the snow thing is a little more isolated, but I really see the opportunity there. I know I've missed, I realize now I've been in New York City and I should have been taking some other pictures maybe. <laughs> because. <laughs> well, I, I, I mean, I think it's the way also we evolve and develop uh, lately. Uh, some, you know, I've been shooting, I've, I've been driving more, uh, outside of this, the city uh, in the, the, the scale landscapes and uh, some different areas. And it, it made me make uh, also shots from the car, but right. uh, some of them don't, they don't have humans, just houses and just uh, roads. 
And as you say, when you come to New York, then it, I think the, the, that there are plenty of different opportunities to uh, let yourself be open. Right. But I, I now I'm thinking, you know, New York City. That's a, uh, that's a, it's that's huge. And for now sure, Chicago. Yeah. 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 Actually, I, I have some film. I can't. I don't know if I could find it quick. It's the film I scanned. I was going to the Chicago Blues Festival, and I had to go get some camera gear that got broken, and I had to take the uh, tram or the uh, what do you call it the you know the subway and i actually took some pictures there because when i got into south chicago it became less and less people at the stops and then they were of course warning me sit next to somebody that you think is safe because you don't want to be by yourself but it was very interesting is seeing the different scenes that i saw um it's great opportunity but yeah, you can also get it from driving, but it seems there's a theme there that you had for a while, you know, with some of the work. Yes, I, 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 yes. And as you say, opportunities arise. And you just want to explore it and want to, to repeat it, want to, then you feel the need, you just do it. And uh, at the end, you, you get the body of work. Set a slow shutter speed and just start shooting. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Don't think too much, just enjoy it. <laughs> yep. Great. Anyone else have any questions? Uh, Olga, I just, on behalf of everyone, I just want to thank you so much for your time so early in the morning for you and uh, for an amazing perspective, a really um, inspiring and amazing perspective. Well, thank you. I'm, I, it's been a pleasure and I, I really enjoyed it. Uh, so I always love when, when, when it goes so well, when, when things simply happen and evolve and it's uh, been really nice talking to you all. Great conversation. Great. So we'll have to ha have you back after the next book. Right. Well, sure. Yeah. Why not? <laughs> <laughs> you come back. I, I, I will. We have a deal. So once I do it, my my I, I mean I, I slowly I've been working on it, but uh, it will take it will take time. It always takes time. Do, do you have a title yet? Yes. Okay, we'll leave it at that. Feel like, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Very good. All right. Thank you everyone for your kind attention and Olga for attending and we'll see you all soon. Okay. Yes, thank you. Thank you everybody for coming. Thank you. Get out there and get some pictures. We got a nice mix of weather coming. Thank you. Thank yeah, you. Thank right. you. Shoot them before they run or while they're running, right? <laughs> oh, man. That's with a camera, right? <laughs> Rex, you can stop recording. I will. <laughs>